Hello and welcome back to EU4, I'm Count Christo and this is the High Hamburg campaign. Now I've realised something in the gap which, uh, which is rather tragic that I thought I'd share with you which is our font. Our font is never going to be very big, we will never be able to zoom out and see a huge Hamburg across the map which is a shame but uh, but oh well, I'm sure we can live with it. So Bremen is our, uh, our next target but we're quite high on the aggressive expansion with some people, not too bad generally though. So, uh, yeah, we're going to just let time start going. We'd, uh, oh, but I've just loaded in, so uh, do give me a moment to get used to how this campaign goes again. Uh, Bremen, yeah. Utrecht? The problem is he's allied to a bunch of people that I quite like. Although I don't like Lundberg anymore. Lundberg's quite an attractive target, actually. Ten favours with them. Because I, I want the trading city on this, probably on the, preferably on the coast. But if I released, if I attacked them, forced them to release Saxe-Lauenburg, Saxe-Lauenburg would definitely join a uh, trade league with me, which would be good. And then we could get the trading city somewhere else. I was looking at Flynn, it's a very high development. Ooh, or Lund, that would be great. Ooh, especially since there's extra good, goods produced there, that would be nice. And uh, obviously we want Zealand for ourselves. I believe it's pronounced Zealand. Not sure though. Zuland, Zuland. Not sure. Do correct me if you're uh, if you if you know better than I, which I'm sure most people do when it comes to pronunciation. Now, who are you allied to? The Dern. Mm. See, I'd be. I, I definitely got to get to war with Pomerania at some point because now we're in coring range for Stetten. Stet. Not that one. <laughs> okay. So they're currently in a war against who? Moldova. Moldova? Oh, they're going for independence. I've never ever seen Moldova go for independence. It doesn't look like they're going to get it this time either. Okay, so I've got claims on them. So yeah, what we'd do if we went toward them is we'd annex Bremen, which is 16 development, which I think we could probably take right now. Probably. We can get another 25 good expansion with most of these people, so... Yeah. Oh, we've got no manpower. Let's just take a look at the situation though. Can I, can I walk up here at the moment? No. Walk here though. Friesland, I need to cancel the military access through there. Oh, why do I have military access through Friesland? Interesting. Oh, I've got Gullian separatists building up. That's probably why I had those guys down there. I might end up increasing autonomy down here. Uh, military access from England. It's just at war with you, mate. <laughs> so we can go to war with them. Ah, oh, darn, we've got a truce. For how long? No, oh, yonks. Alright, let's come back down here. Too many relationships because of. Ah, oh, no one. Ah, oh, yeah, I, I jumped on that alliance with Austria. Have I got 10 favours with you? Yeah, 15. So I want to use these guys and then dump them. So how about here? Yeah, Brunswick will come help. Brandenburg would help later. Who would it be? You... It's, it's quite a bit to fight, to be honest. I really want to take out Cleves. Ooh, Brunswick will help there, but I've only got the Humiliate at the moment. So let's get a claim on Cleves and then let's... Uh, do that war. So I can take out them and Cologne. So what I want to do here probably is um, hmm. I'd have to take both of these provinces at once in the peace deal. I really want to get Colm because that's one of the very few provinces in this game that I'm allowed to own. So a new coin. Ah, oh, this is a nasty event. We've got a young guy, right? Yeah, he's being re-elected for a long time. So unfortunately we're just going to have to tank the inflation. We're ahead of time on admin though, and we're not doing an admin energy group? No, we're not. Okay, so that's not so bad. We can just reject the form and immediately buy down the inflation. That's fine. Okay, uh, yes, yeah, so we've got too many relationships, so we're going to use Brunswick once, then break the alliance with them, I think. Because we'd be going to war with them when we went to war with Lundberg anyway. And yeah, I think speed 5. We are 900 manpower in the hole. How low have I got the unrest here by having my troops in place? Seven. Not low enough that I'm actually going to stop it. So I'm going to drop the uh, the maintenance on those guys. Uh, any more? Any more for any more in terms of ships? Yeah. A couple more. Good. I can get one more after that. I know I owe loans. I uh, I often build trade ships even when I owe loans. I think it's probably some generally a good idea. Okay. Uh, new guy in Venice. So I looked around the map a bit earlier. Oh. That's irritating. That's exactly who I wanted to go to war with. They've just called me in against them. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Let's uh, slow it down. Let's see who gets called in. Everyone got called in. Okay. I could separate piece Cleves. 
for an annexation, and then they could be my trade city in this region, but then I can't take Koln. I think I have to separate piece vassalize. If I could capture these two provinces, that's probably enough for me to vassalize Cleves. We'd have even more of the relationship with it then. But it's a moot point just for now, because I'll need to get some more uh, morale before I can consider joining. I've got two months before I need to join. Of course, I could just refuse, but I wouldn't like to take the trust hit with everyone. Trust hits are very unfortunate. Mm, yeah, this isn't a good war, is it? There uh Oh, no. I really don't want to join this. He's going to get stomped. Hmm. No, I'm going to decline, actually. Uh, I can't afford it. That's going to knock my trust down with everyone by five. So you can see everyone's at 45. But that'll build back up over time. And my allies in the trade league are going to be down to 35. Because I pieced out early in a war with them as well. All right, well, let's drop the maintenance back down. That is very annoying. Okay, uh, we had 25% to our spy network and 30% chance that the Pope gets irritated or diplomatic power. Um, no, I'll just take diplomatic power, I think, to be honest. Fortunately, though, everyone likes us at the moment because of our little, uh, our little diplomat malarkey. So hopefully they'll all stay in our trade league. Pomerania has expired. Okay, so they're going to start... I want them to get one more alliance because I don't really want to fight Verden. Though I probably have to. Although I could, if I could call Verden into a war, which I probably won't be able to, to be honest. Okay, there's the claim on Cleves. They're just allied to Cologne. So if I went to war with them, Brandenburg would help. Probably, later on. Saxony would too. Yeah, we're now getting that minus five from Trust, which does hurt. If Brunswick could tire out Cologne a bit, that would be that would be favourite. Siege ability, nice, and it's the next one, so it gives us the extra production, which will be good. We're behind on military tech, but I want to finish this before I take more military tech. It's good, actually. It'll force me to do a bit of peace. Moldova has pieced out rigour, not something you often <laughs> have cause to say. <laughs> oh, good. We can pay off our loan. The pen is backed by the sword. Nice. Envoy travel time. Pretty useless, but, you know. So, so, doesn't really matter. And certainly not a loss. Um, yeah, Cleves would be a reasonably good trade city. So what I'd have to do is take Cleves and Colne, and then release Cleves as a trade city. That would be fine. A fine trade city to have in this region. Uh, fifth, 13 development. There's probably higher. Yeah, down here. In the south, there's some higher ones. But, but yeah, 13 is perfectly respectable amount. I'm I'm very concerned about our military technology. Our next guy should be in the military area. A revolt in New Habsburg sorry, New Hamburg. For some time the Republic has seen an increased control of the guilds. Oh blimey. Uh we okay, so we give in to demands, which means we get more Republican tradition and we have an election. Or Hamburg gets racked by fractional uh, sorry, factional riots, less trade power, less tax. Lose 20 Republican tradition. Okay. It's probably... This is firing, I think, because the uh, guilds are so dominant. <clears throat> well, I lose a stability either way. So it's 20 Republican tradition, or... And I think, yeah, we resign. I really don't want to resign, because this is a... Whoa! He's got a plus... Yeah, okay, we're taking the top one. That's amazing. On a... Uh, on a... Um, what's the term? elected person. This is a fantastic modifier. Okay, so we're going to have some riots for a while. That's unfortunate, but uh, we'll just have to deal with that. We are, as I said, oof, it's going to hurt bumping this up, but we're way ahead on uh, admin tech, so that's fine. Cardinal across the border. Uh, hamburger. I would like to get a cardinal, so let's, let's do this. It's money for for potentially diplo points in the form of mercantilism, so and I don't think the Pope found out, which is good. Uh, Utrecht will no longer transfer trade power. Well, I'll claim them then. Oh, them! And <gasps> Here it is, boys. Here it is. I can get to war with them and Bremen without having to call in uh, Dishmarchen or the, you know that word against me. Yeah, that's perfect. I can declare war on these guys later. 
Okay, great. Now, how many troops does Bremen have? Is a, uh, a serious concern. Let's check that out. Bremen, good country to search for. So, they should be pretty much on the first list. They have 8,000. Okay, um, so I'm going to need to stack wipe these three. Whoa, 4 3? I've got a 1 0. It does have land fire damage. I can't afford to roll another one. Because we're so behind on military tech. Alright, they're in military tech 6 to my 4. I think we might get owned, <laughs> to be honest. We'll have to... Uh... Alright, we can't do that yet, but that opportunity should stay open. So we'll make some more money. Wow, we're making so much, le so much less money now we've got this horrible thing on on them. Uh, we shall, of course, accept their rightful claims. Fortunately, the unrest is very, very low still, even with the riots. And the riots are only going to last another kind of four years, I think it was. Was it five years? <clears throat> it's probably five years from when it started, if I had to guess. Mm. That's good. Pomerania just rivaled Brandenburg. Uh, yeah, sure. Cardinal administration is a great modifier. Does it actually increase your papal influence gain? Yes, it does. Nice. Are we topping up with the Pope at the moment? We are. Good. Ooh, I want to kill you, Bremen. Ooh, but if these guys get sieged down... Oh, yeah, but they're a free city. That's why it's so hard to attack them, I forget. You trick, you're not a free city. No, you're a bishopric. Oh, they're just allied cleaves. That's irritating. Um. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ooh, Brandenburg will help me against Cleves, though. And I could full call Utrecht. That would be interesting. Like that. But then I have to fight Cologne as well. Now, I'm behind on military tech. I just need to... Actually, what I should do is focus military points. Yeah. I should have done that earlier. We need to get more military technology. Lundberg just rivaled me. How very dare they? Okay, we're rival to Mecklenburg. Am I embargoing them? Yes, good. Let's uh, send them an insult. We're getting close to the 50 power projection problem area. Um, I don't mind... Do I mind being behind on that? Yes, we're unbalanced research at the moment. I should take this. Hmm. Hmm. No, I want to be long-term efficient on monarch points above all else. And if you take the ideas first, every idea you take makes the tech cheaper. By one, I think. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, so it's ten percent off. That's giving us ten percent off. Sorry, with ten ideas, giving us ten percent off. Okay, yeah. So I've been thinking about how we're going to get to uh, sense the trade like this down here in Prague. I mean, it's going to be going to be tricky. I guess we'll have to have like a vassal extending all the way down here, and then we'll be able to to core this province, because you can core next to a vassal's core. And I learned something interesting on the wiki, I don't know if this is true, I think it probably is though, because the wiki's usually pretty reliable. Apparently, you can always core next to a vassal's core. How on earth did you lose Norway? That's very strange. Anyway, you can always core next to a vassal's core, even if the vassal doesn't own the core, which is very weird. And likewise, you can always core next to one of your cores, even if you don't own the core. It's very strange. Disputes affecting parliament, government, that's irritating. Another 5% production efficiency, very nice. Moving in towards that uh, development cost, which is going to be good. Looking at when, like we're going to need to do some admin development soon. Is there a case to be made for bumping up stability? National tax goes up. Yearly corruption goes down. Yeah, maybe. Ooh, Austria, that's a ballsy play. It's a big Castile you're declaring war on, but they have a lot of allies. Interesting, interesting. I should get a claim on Holland. Holland is a, a great, great province, like Hamburg. It's uh, got both province, got both modifiers. I got a claim on Utrecht already. Yeah, so we can come back from Utrecht. Let's get a claim on them. If they get totally wrecked here. In fact, he's looking to release Holland. So if he would release Holland, that would be, that would be absolutely perfect. I'd love that. Election! Well, after we've had all these freaking riots and revolts against him, of course, we shall keep him. <coughs> Milan Peace out Genoa, Mantua joined a trade league. I was just looking as well, our trade league is looking very nice. We've got this whole coastline here is all either owned by us or in the trade league, with the exception of Bremen. And Bremen will not remain an exception for long. 
<clears throat> if I get my way. Oh, time for a building, if we can, if there are any. There aren't, we are fully buildinged out. And we're not going to go with forts, for now. Uh, the noble legacy of Hamburg. Uh, we get a claim, or we get... Oh no, I like this one. You always pick this one, and it gives you uh, more trade power. Which is nice. Is that in the province? Yeah, there we go. Trade with neighbour. Nice. Truce with Lundberg has expired. Lundberg, have you still got your allies? Yes. So they're a good target. We'd have to call in them. Uh, we will take the Papal Influence, because we're trying to get to 50 before the Reformation kicks off. When is the Reformation? Quite soon. Now, I would almost always go Protestant. But... Reformed is the only one I think that has trade-related ideas. Protestant's still almost certainly better. In fact, let me just let me just have a quick look at uh, at the Protestant bonuses. It won't take me more than fifty seconds, I'd say. Uh, the Reformed bonuses, sorry, because um, the yeah they have this fervor system, which I've never shown off, and I'd uh, I'd like to I'd like to show it off be fun um, and it gives you where is it here it is yeah 10% global trade power 10% trade efficiency yeah see that's not it's not as good as I thought it might be hmm yeah that's not as good as I thought really it doesn't doesn't beat out the Protestants because the Protestants have the extra yearly Republican tradition and development costs nice, global settler increase will be good. I'm really looking forward to playing the colonial game, by the way, because I haven't played it for ages. It's, uh, it's great fun. I really like colonizing. I think this is the game I most enjoy, like colonizing new lands. It's better than any other game I've played, which is weird, because you'd think like 4Xs were, but I'm not really a huge fan of 4X games, to be honest. They're quite good fun, but I'm just, I'm just not, I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what it is about them, but they're not, it's not quite my thing. Okay, so I can take this early, or, far more sensibly, I could do some development. Okay. Now, uh, yeah, I think just the cheapest provinces is going to make the most sense. Uh, I think I just spend it all. There we go, we just gained a substantial amount. Let's see how much more extra cash we make this month. This might update instantly, I don't know. Yeah, an extra 0 0.2, very nice. Cleves is no longer a valid rival. That seems extremely fair. <laughs> uh, who should we rival instead? Hey, Limburg, they've rivaled me, the fools. We might as well rival them back. Claim Holland. We're also going to want Antwerpen and... Is Flanders? No. No, Flanders isn't a, a province. Obviously, we're going to want Cor Corks. Co, I have a feeling. I don't know. Good. This has got the staple port. I'm, I don't know if that persists once you take it. Hmm. I hope it does. We'll see. Yeah, so these two are going to be very important for our, our uh, English Channel trade. The English Channel is going to be our main trade node, by the way. Um, so what we're probably going to do is try and release lots of... I don't know how, but we're probably going to try and create vassals in this area. Sorry, release nations in this area, and then um, with one... With, uh, which only have one province, and then get them in our trade league. Okay, so there's the option of going to war with you, or directly with Utrecht, which calls in Cleves. So if I can take out these two, then, uh, oh, I was going to say Brunswick can take out Bremen, but maybe they can't anymore. But I could call in Brandenburg as well. Let's just have a look at the war, if I declare it here. <clears throat> yeah, I can get, oh, I can get Saxony and Brandenburg. We might even be able to win this now, if I played my cards right. Should we give it a go? I have an extra bit of discipline and artillery compatibility. Not that we have artillery. Hmm. Should we give it a go? I think we should. I think we should give that a try. I'm going to get some mercs. Uh, because we've got such low manpower. But with, with Brandenburg and Saxony on side. I just, I just really want Bremen. Is all it is. Bremen's in a trade league. Oh yeah, Genoa. I forgot that was, that was funny. Um, okay, let's get some Merc Infantry. Let's go with four of them. We're quite rich, so we can afford to go over the uh, force limit. Why can't I move up here all of a sudden? 
that's fine. Just one guy. We can transport him with our uh, transport, surprisingly enough. And then I'm going to put my transport back in your place with the fort. Generally good to have your transport in place with the fort so they can't get forced out as easily. Okay, is that everyone trained up? Yep. Okay, uh, Oldenburg, I require military access, and then we'll just charge on through into Bremen. Okay, but that war will have to wait until next time. Till then, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you then. Bye-bye.